Hey guys, this is Ryan Rakowski from RyanRakowski.com here to give you a quick little tip, especially for beginners that don't know how to use After Effects that well. Let's pretend that you just got this program and all you really know how to do to animate your text is make your text go side to side or up and down. Uh, what if you want to do some more with it but you just don't know how and you don't care to learn how to make each individual character do something? Well, you're in luck because there's some ways to doing that. Now, this isn't a secret, but a lot of professionals out there sort of you know, throw these to the side because they think that they're a little bit uh, amateurish. They think that uh, they're not as professional as if you were to do this yourself. But the presets are here for you. Why not use them? So I'm just going to show you how to use them. Click on your Effects and Presets tab. And then you click on the little drop down menu, and then you click on browse presets. This will open up Adobe Bridge, and inside Adobe Bridge, this is, will bring you a folder of presets. If you click on text, it'll bring up a bunch of subfolders. You have 3D text, animate in, animate out, miscellaneous, blurs, multi line, organic, scale, rotation, tracking, blah, 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 a bunch of different presets for you to animate your text with. Um, let's play with animate in for a second. Now if you click on the folder it'll bring you all these little presets and to view them all you have to do is click on them once and in this little preview uh, little sidebar here uh, it'll show you what the preset is a little 5 to 10 second preview whatever the effect is and this one's a central spiral where all the text goes in the center um, and then if you click on this little uh, button it'll loop them so you'll be able to see them over and over and over and over and over again. Um, if you click on more of them, you'll be able to see what they are. And there are just a ton that are just available for you. Uh, fade up, fade down, raining characters. Well, that's kind of interesting. Uh, spinning text going in. Uh, what is this one? Straight in by word. <laughs> just like flying in from the side. Uh, what is this? Smooth move. That's pretty cool too. Um, but yeah, there's just a ton of different presets here. Some are really simple and some are really organic. Some have life to them. Like take this boiling for instance. Look at how it shakes like it's actually alive. Take uh, one of these effects and presets and we can apply it to our text. So I have some big monster text. Roar. Um, in order to apply the preset, you make sure your text is selected and Whenever you apply this preset, it'll apply it to wherever your playhead is on your timeline. So I'm going to put mine at the beginning, make sure my text layer is selected, go back to Adobe Bridge, and whew, that is a slice and dice one. That might be cool. Let's double click on that, and it was just applied to our text. I'm going to render it, so give me two seconds while my computer does that. Yeah, maybe that didn't look very good. Maybe our text is too big even notice it. I'm going to scale that down a little bit because that was just too ridiculous and I couldn't even tell what was going on. So I'm going to go back to Adobe Bridge. Oh, that's weird. Let's just do Autumn. Yeah, something weird. Autumn and Monster, two completely random things that don't even work together. So I'll double click again and uh, that little monster just floats on in there. But yeah, that's way of adding text presets to uh, your text in After Effects. And explore these uh, folders. There's a ton of cool ones. Some that you may have never thought that it could have existed. Some that will spark new ideas for you. And some that will keep you creative. So enjoy yourselves, experiment, and rock on, folks. This has been Ryan Rakowski. Have a great day.